What's up, CyberHawks? So in today's video, we're gonna be creating a virtual machine in Azure. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Let's go ahead and do it. First, I'll go to portal.azure.com. Once you're there, go to the search bar up here, and you can type in like VM for virtual machine, or you just type in a virtual machine or virtual, it should pop up. That's probably the uh, top one. And as you guys can see, I have uh, two right here. Well, I got three right here. Uh, but on yours, it will probably uh, be empty. Go to create. And then from here, you can actually, um, you can actually pick one with preset configuration if you wanted to, but we're gonna go ahead and just do a basic one where we kind of should have more control. So we'll click the top Azure virtual machine. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and go down the list. Um, you can pick your subscription that you're currently on. I only have one uh, subscription one. Next, you can put it into a particular resource group. So I don't want it to be in any of these groups that I currently have. So we'll create a new one. And so instead of me having to create a resource group later or before this, we can do it now. We'll call this the YouTube test group four. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Next, we can name our virtual machine. So we'll call this the YouTube VM. Yeah, we'll just name it that. Um, then you can pick your region. Uh, we'll pick, I guess, East, U, East US is good for me since uh, probably like the closer to me or uh, versus the West, but we'll do East US too. Again, you can pick one close to your area. Also, the prices may vary as well. So kind of just an FYI on that, but it's not like a big difference on the prices. And then your availability zone, we'll just go ahead and just keep that standard because we're just getting a standard quick virtual machine, but you can create more if you wanted to um, as well. Security type again, we're gonna just keep um, the current one that's here. Again, if you wanted more like security, definitely can. You can also go down to the standard, but we'll keep it at trusted, it's pretty good. Now for the image, this is like the type of like machine that you're gonna kind of be running. Um, the default, usually the Ubuntu, like more or less like no GUI, like Linux style, you go ahead and type everything in. Um, if you wanted to create like a Windows machine, they have those there. And they have a lot of other ones. You can see all images. So we'll just click on see all images just real quick. But on this one, we're gonna be creating a Windows, like a Microsoft Windows uh, one. But as you can, guys can see, there's a plethora. There's a plethora of different ones that you can actually choose from. And you can type in uh, to get more. Like, let's say if I typed in Kali, for example, I got Kali Linux, I got, a lot we got a lot right there so we'll go back we'll go back to windows and we'll do a windows 11 and then you can pick again more specs for this we have the pro version uh gen 2 for this one i guess we'll pick that but again um each depending on which one you pick they do have different prices um so again kind of just be wary of that if you're going to be keeping your machine on for a long time um if not i guess you had to worry about it a little less <laughs> And as you guys can see, um, if you go down to the size for this one, you can pick the different sizes. If you want it to be uh, two virtual CPUs or one virtual CPU for this particular one, eight gigabytes, one gigabyte, 16 gigabytes. Again, you can pick uh, for this one. We'll do 16 gigabytes. Now, even though it says $108, that's like if you kept it on like the whole time, if I'm not like mistaken, we're not going to be keeping this on. We're going to be deleting this right after we're done. So it really doesn't matter what we pick. And then on the username you can go ahead and um put in what you guys plan on actually using to get in uh, i'm gonna name this cyberhawk <laughs> and the password uh will just do uh cyberhawk123 and then we'll do that again cyberhawk123 again hopefully you're not actually using something similar to that on your actual password that's a horrible password but again this is just for the video just for me to remember and then you can uh, change the inbound ports as well. And you can um, pick from HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, RDP. For this one, we're gonna just keep it on RDP. I guess later on, you can always open it up uh, using the uh, network security groups. I may make a video talking about that as well, how to like um, open and close ports and different things of that nature. But right now we're gonna just keep it like this, cool, quick Windows 11 machine. And uh, yeah, confirm that I have that next 
and then um yeah everything kind of looks good here we're, we're not interested in changing anything and then our uh, networking yeah we'll keep oh yeah now we could we could put this in another another virtual network but they already created one for us the youtube vm vnet so we'll keep that we don't want to put this in our other projects uh subnet the default is cool there public ip usually cool there we keep the basic allow again keep the rdp cool low balancing again this is kind of if you want to be i guess maybe more advanced or maybe you're actually using these virtual machines for other things again we're kind of just creating a basic virtual machine just to try it out we don't actually need a low balancer and paying more and xyz for that because we're not going to have anybody else trying to access this or anything of that nature and then on management um as you guys can see you can add in some additional um things again we're not going to worry about backups or site recovery uh, i guess updates etc again this is a basic one but i guess if you were working like in a environment or in a work job they may have maybe different specs that you that they want for your different virtual machines and then for monitoring um everything looks good there we're going to keep the boot diagnostics everything the same and then yeah we'll keep all this the same this kind of more again if you have more advanced things that you need it you can add those there go to tags again this is a basic one but if you wanted to add a tag we could give this a tag like uh xyz created this or something and then type in my name or, or whatever you're tagging uh <laughs> wherever you're like wherever you're tagging uh situation is you can go ahead and, and tag that there so it's easier to see maybe you might want to put who created it hey i created this one and then um finally we'll go to the last place that so you can just review everything um how much it'll be costing me what well, it's about 14 an hour uh, 14 cents an hour and you can see everything else there everything else looks pretty good we'll go ahead and hit create now this should take maybe about a minute or two this one really wasn't too advanced of a machine it is also as you guys can see we're creating our resource group the youtube uh, test group four so that may take a little bit um, for a minute so we're going to go ahead and let that load up we'll go to virtual machines and we'll get that about a minute or two and then we will be right back all right guys so yeah that was literally about maybe 10 seconds or so but we already have our YouTube VM. We're gonna go ahead and click on that right there. And voila, guys, we have our virtual machine. Now, it doesn't look like it's completely there. Let me just refresh that one more time. Okay, cool, cool, so yeah. So it's not completely all the way there. It's still deploying. Once it's complete, we should have a public IP address available and some other information but again it may take maybe another minute or two but let's actually you know what oh bro look at that guy before i even did the the cut uh we actually already have it ready so yeah now we have our public ip address we have our virtual networks all set up and it looks like we're good to go so yeah guys if you want to create a virtual machine in azure again it's pretty quick pretty simple um i actually may do one in aws as well so you guys can see and i'll probably do one on how to delete a virtual machine too Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.